Hello and welcome to another deadlift video. So the deadlift plan is once I reach four plates, it'll be singles and test whether or not I set a new PR today. Even though I've done part of the warm up, I will continue doing a little more warming up. Just basically add one plate at a time. Plates are all over the place as usual. I'm going to get some clips. After I'm done with uh, testing the max, then I will drop the weight to 200 kilograms. And that will really be the top set, the only set I'm going to do today. The stronger we get, the more weight we keep adding onto the bar to the point where the bar defeats us. And that's what, that is what happens with me. The bar quite often defeats me, but I do work hard on defeating the bar. Uh, all right, let's do um, a triple on this one. Again, I'm not going to use the belt or the hand straps. It's completely raw at this point. All right, speed was good actually. So the faster you can actually complete the movement, the better it is because then you don't need to consume that much energy. So, but for me, it's the opposite. I'm a slow, I'm a slow deadlifter. Uh, but once I'm past that 10 centimeters, four inches of the ground, then I will complete the lift no matter what. Soon the shoes will come off. I'm thinking for anyone out there watching, what difference, what is the difference between these types of hand straps and figure, figure eight hand straps? Because I find it, I've never used the figure eight straps. And when I use these ones, it just takes too long to wrap them around the bar and get set. Uh, what do you recommend? Is it better to use these straps, hand straps or figure eight straps? Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? <laughs> All right, these felt good quite speedy too, at least that's how I felt. What I've learned, one, well, one of the things I learned from deadlifting is that if you can, just pull as fast as possible. You'd want to spend the least amount of time pulling. From this point on, it's going to be singles. Uh, I'm going to increase the weight by 20 kilograms. Ooh. 
for the new subscribers who have not seen my um, belt trick yet, there is another cool way of loading and unloading the weight. Just create a little bit of space there. And that's it. Right there, it's as simple as that. And if you don't have a belt, I assume everybody who's doing heavy deadlifts has a belt, but if you don't have a belt, then get one of those two kilogram, five pound plates and just slide it underneath it and roll the weight onto that plate. There we go. Now, let's see how fast this goes. Speed, speed is the aim here. I don't know if I got that on camera. Yeah, camera is throwing some sort of error. Uh, hopefully I did restore it. I did get it from my mobile phone, so I'll see when I edit the video, what did I capture? Uh, but that one went up pretty fast and it didn't really feel so challenging. And next is going to be 240. I'm hoping that 240 is going to move as fast as 220. Let's see. All right, 240 kilograms is next. This is 530 pounds, 29 pounds, I think, but it's one pound. Alright, 240 went up. Now, uh, I think I'm going to increase the weight by 5 kilograms. So it's going to be 245. So let me go get uh, 5 kilograms. I apologize for the sound. Uh, there was something wrong with the camera and apparently did not record the voice, the sound. I will drop the weight to 200 kilograms and I'm going to push for 10 repetitions. And the max I've done for reps on 200 kilograms is 7. Let's see how this goes.
That was the deadlift session. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell below. And with that said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next workout session.